Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video, another car washing video, so it's gonna go on for 15 minutes or so. But today's about assisted living and thinking outside of the box. I think I've got some solutions for those people who are looking for assisted living in their later golden years and their later lives without actually losing their house in the UK or America or Australia, wherever you're from. But the principle is the same. So we're gonna go through, through some of this. And uh, my hose pipe is broken, so I'm gonna have to use my thumb. So, thinking outside of the box. Now, I've done a couple of videos with regard to assisted living, and these videos have been well looked at, like 14, 15,000 views with regard to uh, assisted living in, in Thailand. Now, it shows there's an interest, so I've looked more into it, and um, I've come up with some solutions, or hopefully solutions, and uh, hopefully that people will get some value out of it and be able to look and think outside of the box. Because that's what I do, I think outside of the box, and there are many solutions for everyday problems, but you've just got to think a little bit outside of the box and work, work a little way around it. And it's, maybe it's not the perfect solutions, but what perfect solution is there? And some people may think the solutions I'm going to offer are perfect solutions. So I'll just get on with it, shall I? So let's look at England, because there's only England that I can really look at with regard to, to this situation. And America and Canada and Australia are going to be slightly different, but I think they're all based around the same thing. And basically, <laughs> what it is, You've worked all your life, you've saved up some money with regard to the house type of thing and you've gone a little bit, you know, where you need a bit of medical care when you get older. And uh, maybe sometimes you might have to go into a care home and to be looked after. Because uh, let's face it, at the end of the day, family are too busy working to be able to, to give you the care. Now in Thailand where we live, family take care of family. So. The Thais find it strange that we actually put our parents into a, a nursing home or a care home. That's the way we go about it, so let's just carry on with that theme. So how can you get care reasonably priced without losing your house and losing the assets that you've got? Because in England, if you need care, okay, there, there are various rules and regulations and things like that that cover you and that they won't make you sell your house until actually you've passed away. But still, you've worked all your life to pass the house or your assets on to your family, whether it be savings or whether it be the house. And uh, this government, the UK government, all that hard work that you've done to give your kids a, a leg up in life, if you like, leaving them a big asset of the house and things like that, and help them along their way, it's nice of the government that they can take it all off you. When you need something, you've given the best years of your life and they're gonna take as much money as they can off you for care. Now let's use some examples, some monetary examples. Let's just say you own your own house or you have say a couple of hundred thousand pounds or so in, in savings. So because you've got the savings, I'm going to turn this off in a minute so I'll disappear. So because you've got some savings and you have to go into a care home, the government will relieve you of some of your savings up until the fact you've only got 20, well, there's two figures that are quoted, 14,500 and 23,500. If you've got that amount of money left, whether it's assets, e.g. your house, because you paid for it, or savings, you will have to pay for your care. And again, some of the figures that I'm gonna quote here are gonna be different, no matter where you are in England or else in the world, but remember these are ballpark figures, and this is where I'm trying to, to get you into thinking a different way. So ballpark figures, let's say, a thousand pounds a week. Now I know it's around about a thousand pounds a week because my mother, some years ago, five years ago, was in a 
in the care home and she was paying £850 a week. But it was the council that was paying for it because my mum didn't have that amount of savings to be able to um, pay for, for her own. And she didn't own her own house, so thankfully the council, but she was only in there for a, a week. And, um, you know, as much as she liked it, it was still £850 a week. So, for ease of figures, let's say £1,000 a week. That's £4,000 a month. £4,000 a month to put somebody in care. That's a lot of money. That's a lot, a lot of money. And there's some statistics that I've seen today, and I can't put my finger on where I found out them statistics, but let's use them statistics that the average person's lifespan, once they go into a home, for ladies it's about six or seven years, and for guys it might be five years. So let's say six years. You're going to be in a home for maybe six years of your final days of, of being on planet Earth, the little blue dot. So that's six years at a thousand pounds a week. Boy, do them figures add up very, very quickly, don't they? So, certainly within a couple of years, if you've got a two or three hundred pound, two or three hundred thousand pound house, you ain't going to have a lot of money left out of that, are you? So, what if there is a way where you can get great care for? A substantially less money than that and better conditions than what you get in the UK because here we are now in January if you live in the UK you're going to be stuck indoors because it's too cold to go out and it'd be like that until about April and I'm using Thailand as an example because I, I live here Thailand so I can only use this as an example and I'm sure there are other cheaper countries that you can do this as well but I don't know of anywhere so I'm using Thailand as an example and the places I'm going to mention I don't get any commission from these people I do it because of purely and utter for thinking outside of the box and helping people along and uh, so I can point people in this direction and they can look at the figures themselves and find out and not just take my word for it, although many people do take my word for it because I'm regarded as an honest and truthful person here on YouTube and thank you very much for all those people who've said such things. I don't give people any BS, I tell it how it is. Emphysema. Emphysema, and I'm only washing the car, so it makes me out of breath sometimes. So even me, in my older age, I maybe need care. So this is one of the reasons why I've looked into this, because one day I may need it as well. Who knows? Because nobody knows what's going to happen around the corner. So anyway, getting back to the more. I can go off a different tangent on this, I really, really can, because there's so much to say about this. And um, so, okay, £1,000 a week, £4,000 a month. What if I tell you, for those people who've got Alzheimer's or dementia, where they need 24 hours care sort of thing, or a carer to help look after them, how about if I tell you that for a thousand pounds a month you can get somebody 24 hours a day looking after you for your dementia needs or Alzheimer's needs or whatever other needs that you, that you may have you know and that is 24 hours a day and if you only need like if you don't have Alzheimer's or dementia but you've got some injuries that you need help to, you know, walk around and, you know, get from A to B or whatever. Maybe you've got bad hips or something like that. So you just need somebody to help you during the day. 
for a month, 20,000 baht. So that's less than, less than uh, 500 pounds a month for somebody for 10 or 12, excuse me, 10 or 12 hours a day to help you compared to a thousand pounds a week. Woo -wee. <laughs> and how you can save even more money is if, uh, and th this is the way to save the money, is you can buy uh, an apartment for, it's about 88,000 pounds. And, and I'll put all the, I'll put all the, um, the figures in the side columns here, it's dollars and things like that. And if you buy your apartment or condo here in Thailand, it's yours. You're not renting it, it's yours. So your family actually get to use it afterwards. And if they wish to resell it or rent it out, you know, to the same company or whatever, there's ways and means of doing that as well. But do you see, you still have the asset. You still have the asset, and which makes even renting that house out later on. You know, if your parents sadly pass away and things like that. And you could even have it for your own future needs. You know, so when you get older, you've got somewhere that you can go. So in reality, two years, two and a half years or so, you can have the condo paid off or the apartment paid off. And then that's yours, not just wasted money on the, the care system in the UK or America or Australia, or whoever wants to use this idea. It's just thinking outside of the box of what you can do in comparison to, I'd hate to think that all the money that I'd accrued in my lifetime, now I'm one of them people that, I don't have a lot of money, I just have me pension and, and things like that. But I also know if I get to the stage where ploy can't look after me, you know, because I'm like dementia or Alzheimer's or, you know, ill or something like that, there is a system here that I can afford to pay the system to take care of me so she doesn't have to, to worry about things like that. And we can still live together as a man and wife, but there's somebody there to look after us. And if there is two people that need looking after, like a man and a wife or everything in their older age, then that's, it's the same price because the caregiver's there in the first place. So see, by thinking outside of the box, you can actually save yourself a lot, a lot of money. I'll put it on my list. Ugh. So I'd like to know your comments. I'd like to know your thoughts. I'd like to know um, what you're thinking, whether it was a good idea, bad idea, or if you've got any ideas of, of your own. And I've got, and I'll leave a link to the Sunshine International because they've just got a number of new apartments now for sale. And uh, have a look at their information. They are, for me, one of the leaders in Thailand for actually the care that they're given. And that's not just because I'm getting paid for it. And that's why I can give my neutrality, neutrality, neutrality of this because I'm not on a commission. I don't get paid. I don't get any kickbacks. I can say it how it is. And I've got to say, it is a wonderful idea. And those people who take up that idea and have a, even just look at it are very, very good because they're thinking outside of the box. Rather than giving all your money away to the government that you've already paid a huge amount of tax for over the years that you've been saving all of this money to give to your family, there's a way of doing it where your family actually can benefit from this as well. Now I know there's other ways, there's other ways you can do it, you can put the house into a trust and things like that. And the government, if you give your family a big lump sum and things like that, they'll look into it. There's a certain figure that you've got to give it to before they will deem it as classed as you're evading your care.
care costs, like transferring the house to your into a trust. There's a certain amount of years that you've got to do it for. So even if you don't think about the the idea of the care home here in Thailand, have a think about how you're going to save your money from going into the government's pockets and how you can avoid it. Because let's face it, the wealthy people do this. The wealthy people already know how to avoid paying taxes and, and money to the government. So why shouldn't the normal working person, if they have the opportunity, do exactly the same? Because let's face it, you've worked all your life for this money to help your kids in the future and not to give the government all your hard work because you've already given them the best years of your life. So if you want any more information, I'll just turn this off, just send me an email and I'll gladly point you in the right direction. Because for me, this is one of the most important times of your life, retirement. You don't want to worry about losing everything, uh, which you can do, and um, have nothing to pass on to your, to your family members. And also this might be for the guys and girls that are like 40, 50 year old, and their parents are, are old. It's important to talk about it. It's not just one of them subject, I'll deal with it. I don't, want to, I don't want to put my mom and dad into this situation or whatever. Explain the options and, and see what they want to do. Because at the end of the day, if I had money to pass on my kids, I would want to make sure that I could do, one, the best for me, and two, for the best for my family. So it's just thinking outside of the box. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe would be nice. And uh, leave your comments down below. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.